Hey guys, have you ever had the feeling when you open up Minecraft and you log in as your user and you're like, I'm ready for some online playing. Let's connect to the local <gasps> connection rip. Oh, 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 yes, we've all been there. I know we have. So I have your remedy. What do you want to do? Start off by right clicking your desktop and typing Minecraft. Underscore server Like so When this is done what you will need to do is flick over to minecraft.net And then click down here downloads scroll down to the bottom and get to minecraft underscore server dot jar uh, I might as well just re-download it. I don't see why not and When you've got this you'll wish to find it so mine is in my downloads folder and put it onto your desktop now, this will be used later, by the way. So, you want to drag this into your Minecraft server, so when you open it, it's in there. And when this is done, you want to squoof down here to Applications. Scroll down to Open Text Edit. When you've got Text Edit, click Format, and then click Make Plain Text. When this is done, you need to put this in. Now, this will be in the description, so don't worry, it's alright. I've, I've got you covered, guys, don't you worry. So when you've got this in, what you want to do is this here, that it says XMX1G. That means what, how much of your computer you are putting, like how much RAM you're putting into the server. So I'm going to put 2 gig of RAM in, so that'll be 2 gig, that'll be 1 gig. I want to put 2 gig of RAM in, just leave this, leave this one alone, the XMS1G, leave that. And on this you want to change that to however much you want. Um, so... When that's done, what you want to be doing is clicking the little X thingy, the little, yeah, and save it. And what you want to call it is start dot command, like so. Click save, and it will pop up on your desktop. When it's in here, you want to plonk it in your Minecraft server thing, so it'll be there like that. And then when this is done, you want to go down to applications. Scroll down to Utilities, scroll down to Terminal, Open Terminal, and then what you want to type in is CHMOD, so Jamod, space A plus X. When that's done, you want to click, you want to leave a space and drag in start.command and click Enter. Now mine says unknown, but sometimes what it will do is load up um, like a screen that will say preparing spawn points and stuff. If it doesn't, and you like me, what you want to do is double click minecraft underscore server dot jar, click open, that's all good, don't worry about it, and then it will bring up this. This is this is what some people will get anyway, when they type in this, sometimes this will come up automatically for people, but if it doesn't, just double click uh, minecraft underscore server dot jar, like so, and it shall prepare your spawn area, as it is doing, one minute I'm having a cup of tea, because tea is very nice. Ah, oh. ah! Oh. Now what you want to do is do not click the X. You want to leave this open. So you just minimize that, minimize that, and then you can close this. Anything that's offline, you can close except terminal. Leave terminal open. You want to go to Finder? No, you don't want to go to Finder. You want to go to Google Chrome, and I'm going to put a link to this in the description. You want to scroll down here. This this is going to port forward your IP address. So at the minute you can't access it because it hasn't folded the IP address. So what you want to do is go to where it says for landlubber bracket users bracket and download this there. Now when you've done that um, just put it wherever you want. I keep mine in Minecraft downloads here. So I keep mine there. Okay so when you've clicked on port map um, basically just to let you know this has been um, input because I realized that my IP address was on display so I'm just doing this to protect myself from people joining on my lobby. So when you've opened port map, what you want to do is click on the plus button and then you want to type in 25565 and description you want to write in Minecraft server or whatever you want to call it and click add mapping. I'm not going to add it myself because it's already here. And then what you do is you click on and this where it says unmapped it will say mapped and then it'll say 25565 and then you'll be able to log into Minecraft. Okay. So what if, Judgy, what if 
you want to change the properties of this. Well, don't worry, I know what you can do. Right click on server properties, click open with. Um, mine's default as text edit, but you can change that. Click text edit up here, click open. And then you get all these things. Blah, 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 blah. I don't know if you can see them very clearly, but uh, there'll be one that says on. I'll, wait, I'll go through it all. I'll go through it all. Level name. This is just so you can change the name of the level. Hell world will be like um, a nether world, basically. Spawn monsters will be mob spawning at night time. Uh, online mode will allow people who haven't got premium accounts to join in. So if you want p people who don't have a premium account to join, type in false and then anyone who hasn't bought the game can join the game. Uh, spawn animals, that's just the spawn animals, you can change that to false if you don't want any. Same for the monsters. Maximum players, obviously, that's however many players you want on it. Server IP, I'm not too sure what that does to be honest. Same for PvP and server pot. But yeah, if you want to change any of them, feel free. I normally change my online mode to false. And then click the cross button and click save. And then basically, that will allow people who don't have the premium account to join. So that will be like the two other members of Munus Gamers. Who feel like they, they want to play online with me. But I'm like, oh god. Oh wait, wait, I know what I can do. I can change this so you can join. And then like, yeah, that's awesome. So yeah, if you want people who don't have the full game yet to join your session, just do that, and they'll be able to join. So, yep, yeah. oh yeah, by the way, if you want to give someone your IP address, it'll be the thing that comes up here. I'm off the internet at the minute, so mine isn't displayed. What you want to do is you want to copy that and send it to someone, and then they'll be able to join your game. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys are feeling rather beautiful today, and I hope you guys are very well today. Um, please leave a comment saying if this tutorial has helped, because if it has then I've done my job. If it hasn't, please send me a message and I'll try my best to help you through it. Don't forget to subscribe and comment and all that stuff. And I'll see you guys later. I love you all individually, as I'm sure you know. And this has been requested by Scar Stories. I want to say thank you very much to you. And I'll see you guys later. See ya!